you got one religion that prays to a god under one name, another one that has many gods and aspects under other names, and this syntax, this communication barrier we have with each other prevents us from seeing that, oh, you mean we're all looking at the same thing from a different angle? Religion. I think most religions share uh, a desire for personal improvement. Um, most religions are looking for their followers to discover peace. Um, all have some sort of idea of a heaven or an enlightenment or some final stage you are desiring to achieve eventually. Like the masculine and the feminine and that being the two basic sort of underlying energies and there being Jesus and there's always Mary in there somewhere, and then there's Shiva and like these wi me male and feminine sort of deities that we pray to. No other difference. There's a difference between Christians and, and Muslims. Muslims are just people that think that that uh, Christ wasn't Jesus' son, and then we we say that Christ is Jesus' son, but they say he's not. That's what I'm thinking. The disputes are about the inability to accept that we may not be the only ones with a answer, and there isn't just one answer. With every Everything that I've seen from Kabbalah to Islam to Buddhism to Taoism, uh, Christianity, um, every religion seems to have some kind of basis, uh, belief that, uh, that there is a higher being out there, that there is something beyond our control as human beings, and uh, that we basically must adhere to this higher power. I think there's a lot of coexistence and there's a lot of uh, tolerance, but not a lot of understanding or acceptance necessarily. I think it kind of comes down to pride and patriotism and people thinking that they're fighting for something like that they need to fight for when it's really, we're all one and we're all wanting the same things. And so r religion teaches that like this person doesn't believe in what you believe in, and yet all of it, it's humanity. <laughs> all, we, all, all of us want to eat and sleep. So I think it comes down to like those basic sort of feelings that we have about being here and then using them against each other because of, of the different religions and different beliefs. But I think ultimately they all teach the same thing. Thinking uh, that it's our responsibility to change everyone else's opinion as opposed to believing you're supposed to let God do that or believing that religions can exist in harmony. So would you be fake or is he not? The more we walk away from religion and look at God from a sense of I don't have to fight with my neighbor to appreciate my spirituality. In this city that I find myself living in now, Calgary, there's a, there's a lot of community hubs that come together and not so much to say, okay, we're going to give God this name and that's how we're going to worship him so much as we can help each other better our lives through that sense of community. I've done quite a bit of research on, on several different religions and uh, um, just kind of, you know, I've got a lot of friends of all kinds of different ethnicities and races and religions and stuff. And uh, the only thing that I've really found uh, is that there's one one God, I believe. Uh, I believe that uh, there's only one God that loves us and his name is Jehovah. Um, I, I think uh, out of every religion, um, there's only one that talks about God actually loving his people and actually uh, creating his people with a purpose rather than uh, just being this big scary figure that if you don't do a good you know good works and you don't do enough um, good things you know for yourself then there's a fear base and religion is just the expression of how we find ourselves how we find ourselves in the world how we relate to each other and giving ourselves more meaning than just work, buy, consume, die. That's it, guys. Thank you. Thank you.